Tomatoes, the rich lump of red goodness for health and vitality, is enjoyed by all. Africa loves her tomatoes. And Nigeria is the second highest producer of the food crop on the continent. The bad news is, nearly half the 750,000 metric tons of tomatoes produced in Nigeria yearly are lost due to inadequate storage facilities and a poor marketing network. Sadly also, Nigeria is a leading importer of tomato paste despite its production of tomatoes in such huge quantity. The good news is, Nigeria can check this great waste by embarking on large-scale manufacturing of tomato paste. Tomato paste, the thick rich mixture made from long hours of cooking to a rich delicious taste is a staple food which has for decades been consumed and enjoyed universally. Tomato paste is a problem solver for most mums as they like to keep it at home in good quantity to ease their cooking needs. In Nigeria today, the leading name in the local manufacture of tomato paste is Sonia Foods Industries Limited, a wholly owned Nigerian company making giant strides in the manufacture of its flagship product, Sonia Tomato Paste, and others in its production chain. Sonia Foods main manufacturing plant sits on a massive 64,700 square meters land mass along Shagamu Ikorodu Road in Shotsubo, Shagamu, Ogun State. Sonia Foods has increased its production capacity with the installation of additional machines not only for the production of Sonia tomato paste in tins but also for the assembling of the tins and sachets. Indeed, it is one of the few manufacturing companies in the country locally assembling tins and sachets, a step forward in meeting the requirements of Nigeria's Local Content Act. This creates job opportunities through skill acquisition for youths within the Shagamu environs in Ogun State. At Sonia Foods Industries Limited, the synergy between man and machine is admirable. With more than 284 staff members, Sonia Foods manufactures hundreds of cartons of Sonia tomato paste daily to meet its increase in demand. With its can folding and tin plate welding machine, Sonia Foods assembles tins for Sonia tomato paste which comes in 70 grams, 210 grams, 400 gram sizes and in sachets. The tin plate comes in flash sheets like this, already printed with our name and with our product name. And then it's also treated. If you look at the back now, it's also coated or galvanized at the back. At this point, when we have these templates, we now send it to the cutting machine, the one that slits it to sizes. Depending on the size we are running, it slits it into this size. You can see it is a small tin. The 70 gram, this is the 400, and then we also have the 210 gram. In addition to others, Sonia Foods boasts of a brand new universal multi track machine which produces simultaneously many rolls of Sonia tomato paste in sachets. Sonia Foods Industries Limited places a very high premium on the consumer's health and satisfaction. The reason certain hygienic measures are undertaken for tin, sachet and the content inside. As the product leaves the, the, the tanks, the mixing tanks, after it has been cooked to the desired temperature, the product is being moved into a holding tank, like a puffer tank. From that system, from that holding tank, it goes into a degassing tank. Some people call it de-erector. De-erector means removing air. In case there's air bubbles, that is where it's been taken care of. The air bubbles have been taken care of. And after that, it moves to the pasteurizer. The pasteurizer is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a shelling tube system that the product goes through while the outer layer is being heated up. And so as it passes through that pasteurizer, which is maintained at a very high temperature, above 90 and above temperature, degrees centigrade, the product, the product would have been 
sterilize or sanitize further to so just to make sure that the quality that it comes out with is, is a good product, is a good quality product. Using reverse osmosis water treatment plant, which has two layers of purification, the sand filter and activated carbon filter, consumers can rest assured knowing that Sonia tomato paste and other products in the Sonia Foods production chain are made from the best hygienic processes. Sonia Foods works hard to ensure consumers of Sonia tomato paste and other products in the chain enjoy a tasty experience. And where taste is concerned, Sonia tomato paste stands out and stands tall. Sonia tomato paste doesn't have a sour taste. And this, is the, and this sour taste is the, is, the, is the particular thing that makes people run away from tomatoes. So the taste of Sonia tomato paste okay and nice. It is rich in high content of minerals like magnesium and others and also it contains vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin B6 and also other oxidants. Example is a lipoprotein. This a lipoprotein is the highest nutritional value a tomato can contain. This lycopene helps in the uh, fighting of the cancer. This indigenous investment has drawn the interest of government and regulators alike who have applauded the work processes at Sonia Foods Industries Limited. Frank Jacobs, National President, Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, acknowledges the contributions of Sonia Foods towards job creation, but pointed out some of their challenges. I've gone around the factory and I'm very, very impressed with what Sonia Woods is doing. Um, the only challenge they have, which I think government should do something about is the issue of the concentrates being bought from foreign exchange. They are creating, they are creating jobs. They are adding to the economy. Because if they don't assemble those things, how do we get the tomato apart from importing finished products, which we are opposed to? Nigeria should not be importing finished tomato into this country. We should encourage our existing industries to produce more. Jacobs charges the federal government to review its current forex policy because of what he terms impending negative consequences. But that policy, the 41 item, that is a good policy for the country. Where it involves raw material, there is need to change that policy, amend that policy to accommodate those raw materials so that we cannot lose so much jobs because everybody knows the implication of unemployment on the society. Commissioner for Commerce and Industry, Ogo State, Otsumba Bimboashiru, is convinced that the automated work process at Sonia Foods is comparable to the best in the world. You have the quality, you've done very well. So what you need to do now is to let the whole world know what you are doing. You don't have something like this and you keep it. No, it's not done. Ashiru lends his support for the manufacturer's request to access foreign exchange during a window of 18 months to enable them remain in business. Let us start looking inward and ensure that we do the right thing. But on our own part too, wherever we think that the policy is not helping industrialists, it's not helping manufacturers, we will engage and we will escalate to the necessary level and discuss with them and let them know that oh, this policy is affecting our people. Namdi Nodebe is the young dynamic group managing director of Sonia Foods. He paints a vivid picture of this challenge. We already opened a series of 1M with Zene Bank today, the uh, LCs, for a spare pass. For more than how many months? We've not gotten any. B for collection. We have with Zene Bank. For more than one year now, they have not given it to us. Machinally, which we are using to do our own production. Every day they debit our account, every day they reverse. It's a very big I don't, I don't know how we're going to handle it. The challenge is, regardless, 
Sonia Foods has grand plans to vertically integrate backwards as it is in the process of building an ultra-modern factory and farm in some states of the Federation with the capacity to produce the tomato concentrate, the raw material for processing Sonia tomato paste. The construction work will commence in 2016 and will be completed within 36 months. This is why Nodebe, on behalf of other manufacturers, makes a special appeal to President Muhammadu Buhari. Manufacturers are going under the federal government foreign exchange policy, which has made it difficult for them to assess their law material for production. Under the new foreign exchange policy regime, 41 items have been delisted from access to foreign exchange necessary for the purchase of raw materials for processing and production of finished goods. Sadly, the tomato concentrate the raw materials for the people dealing brand Sonia Pest is on the list. To this end, we make a strong appeal to the Igniting the leadership of our dear President Muhammad Buhari to urgently come to our aid by granting us a window of 18 months during which we will be able to assess foreign exchange that will enable us to effectively achieve backward integration. So, why buy Sonia tomato paste? Why I like Sonia is that my wife used to he, he, he use this for me to make a, maybe sometimes I want to make a concussion rice. At least he uses it for me because I like the color, very, very okay, very, very, very delicious. That's why I normally go for Sonia. The taste is very fine and it's very good for jollof rice. When we cook it with pepper, it's very fine. The taste for the Sonia tomato is very okay. The taste for the um, Sonia seasoning. It's very, very okay. Once we buy their lorry load of 1,000 cartons, we normally sell within a week. This pepper even moves faster than the tomato. And most of the time, I used to ask them why. But uh, the most important thing is that they prefer giving it, the end users, giving it to children going to the hostels. So they use it in making concussion. The taste of Sonia is in the eating. Although Nigeria is currently lamenting dwindling economic resources and a depletion in its foreign exchange reserves, Sonia Foods Industries Limited, manufacturers of Sonia tomato paste, may be one of the very few helping to shine the light that will lead the nation out of the woods. Thank you.